Um, it has a slightly folding tail and it's really nice on rail. Um, I found it generates speed really, really easily and maintains it well throughout the turns. Um, I'd recommend using this board in any way from uh, two to six foot. It's my best Practice three times a week, I said But then you'd get high, the glory was in your head That could have been me, that could have been me Alright, so here we got the clear water Shaped by Steve Del Rosso It's a 510 And I got a few buddies that ride these And they're really good surface So I knew this was going to go pretty good Um... It's got a, quite a pulled in tail, which is similar to my short board. It just helps you to turn off the back foot pretty easy and has good pivot, good release. So that's always a bonus. And yeah, just once again, one of those boards that's an all rounder. I rode it on the Oki's left, which is about two to three foot, but even then it held its own. So I think in the ocean it, it would like a bit more power. But yeah, it just did everything you wanted to do good response, so it didn't feel slow or laggy, it was quite quick. And Yeah, the pulled in tail, it helps you know, keep some of that tail in the water so you've still got that drive and then the rounded square just helps with that release off the top so you can still get a little bit fruity off the lip if you want to, as well as not being able to slide out on those cutties. Um, yeah, just a good over round board. I'm going to take it out again and try to get some rights on it. I think I got one and it felt really good on the back end, just did everything you wanted to do. So. I rode this out at Oki's left and yeah, it felt really drivey. I had a lot of control over the board, especially in the lip. Um, I was able to get some release in the tail.
Um, yeah, the Eco Evo is super easy to manoeuvre and link turns together. Here we've got the Eco Evo, shaped by Dave Farrell. And yeah, this board really caught my eye because I'm loving the movement of shapers going away from the norm and trying you know, different materials. And sometimes people are resistant to change. They don't want to change what's already good, but I think it's our duty as surfers to, you know, we're always in the environment and it, the nature gives us so much joy. So. I love the fact they're giving back and looking towards more sustainable resources. I think they've got flax cloth here and yeah, so I was really excited to take it out and it felt great. It, um, it was super responsive, felt strong under my feet, felt um, great off the top and just instantly, you know, did what you wanted it to do. It reacted well, it didn't, didn't do anything funky. It was. Um, yeah, just a really solid board underfoot and a high performance shortboard. And um, yeah, I'd definitely love to get a few more waves on this. So, really good.
we have Rusty's new model, the Shiv. I was really excited to ride this board. I had a board with very similar rails back in the day and it was one of the best boards I've ever had. So it's got this almost just 75 degree like sharp edge rail. So I think the theory is having this extra almost sharpness on the top here and it really digs in and just holds off the bottom. And it was funny, I saw Oki out at Oki's left and I asked him if there was any inspiration because I remember him riding this a similar shape back in the day and he was really excited and commented on how much he loved that rail shape and he's been wanting to get other people to do it. So I think on first look it can look a bit different and maybe you'll be sceptical about it but you just got to trust that that chunkiness in the rail is definitely going to be helping you. It gives it that nice flat top so I feel like you're just planing a lot faster on the wave and yeah, being a thruster, super high performance, so obviously that just helps you direct anywhere you want to go on the wave with as much ease as possible and I think this board would definitely be good at doing some airs if you're into that. Uh, a lot of nice good amount of width up the nose so that helpful landing airs and pulled in tail you can still do strong bottom turns and hit the lip, so definitely an all-round board. I'd say beach brakes would probably be the best for this, but I'd love to give it, I reckon it'd handle up to probably six foot as well. Good amount of chunk for paddling, so you're not going to be sinking. So I just tested out the Rusty Shiv and yeah, straight off the bat it was a nice board, um, pretty flat rocker but um, no, no, no nose dives today which is good. Um, the rails are surprisingly thick but um, it's still a really nice board on the rail and um, really easy to paddle into waves. So yeah, I would say overall this board's probably best in two to four foot, nice clean waves. Yeah, we'll talk like words mean nothing. Did you stumble through? Yeah, so this is the HS. I was pretty keen to ride this because obviously they've got quite the high performance team so I thought it was going to be sort of that sort of surfing and yeah just instantly I felt like it just really had a great release off the top and it was made with the riders in mind that they have for those kind of high performance turns and throwing the fins out and that's exactly what it did. It was fast. It's connected well off the bottom and off the top and yeah just did anything you really wanted it to. One of those really reactive boards that you can just throw around. So yeah, it's one of those boards again, just high performance short board, good in the road in the Ockies left and you could definitely see it going well up to about six foot I reckon, so 
just for when you want that one board just to go on all conditions I think you'd be pretty pretty set on this Just took out the Hayden Shapes cohort surfboard for a little test and overall it went really well. Um, liked it a lot in the pocket, on my back end especially. And yeah, I feel it would go really good in punchy beach breaks. So board number one was the Jai Gunnan Swagger Shaves Gen 4. It's a twin fin, 5'3", and yeah, Jai obviously knows I've been riding twins religiously for the past year, so it felt really good. It was a great canvas to try out a, a twinny. The, I wasn't sure what the wave, the wave pool would be like. I thought it might be a little more gutless, so I thought having the lack of a back fin will help glide through the waves a bit better and being freshwater I didn't know if that was gonna be a little more slidey but yeah this board felt really fast just high line in and go up get a lot of speed and then with the fins set really far back it's still got that performance feel so you can really give it some it doesn't have that slidey skatey feeling that you sometimes feel with the twin and yeah it had a lot of good reaction off the top, you could really push it, felt great on the wraps and yeah just didn't really want to get off this board, had a lot of fun on it, could do little throws at the end of the wave and yeah I definitely like to have a keep riding this board, felt great. Gen 4 is a really fun twin fin. It's quite easy to get the hang of. Um, I would recommend using this board in anything under four foot, any any sort of wave you want to ride.
The Ryan softboards are a great addition to the softboard market. This board has a quad fin setup. Um, it allowed me to um, gain a lot of speed through just a long haul wave. So this is the Ryan soft top. Uh, I don't really ride soft tops very often, but one thing I do know is when you jump on them, you automatically you got the pressure off. It's just having fun. And I think at a wave pool, it's a perfect place to try it out. Uh, went pretty fun on the left. Got some good cutties done and it's quite strong, so you know if you're going to get this, it'll go through, go through its paces. You can throw it around, you can throw it in the sand, throw it on the concrete, and you won't have to really worry about it. It's always just going to be holding its own. So, seems like it'll definitely be good if you're trying to get your grommet into surfing, especially. Get them on something a little safer, so you're not getting knocked in the head. It's always good. But yeah, pretty fast and a high performance soft top at that. Definitely, you can get some that are way too flexy and just can't really turn, but this one was, I think it's got a double stringer in it, so it's really sturdy. So you can definitely, won't have to worry about breaking any shore breaks you want to charge. I'd like to give this guy over at the, the island slab, I reckon you could throw it around. There was a few snap boards over there, but I think this would stand the test. This is the Mount Woodgy. It's quite an easy board to generate speed on and um, has a fair bit of volume around the chest area, which makes it really easy to paddle and easy to control. Um, I'd recommend using this board in two to six foot punchy beach breaks. The Mount Woodgy. I think it's a 510, just your standard shortboard, rounded square. Um, what I really like about this board is they've gone in a renewable approach. They've taken recycled caravan insulation and put that into the foam. So I think moving forward, we should really be conscious of what we're putting into our boards because they can be toxic. Whereas um, you know, every little decision where you can try and make it better for the planet I think is really great 
and it was my first time testing a technology like this and it felt really strong, really responsive and great off the top. Um, yeah, and I think it's just a great board. Yeah, I surfed this at Oki's Peak and it felt great just for doing turns and you know that two and three foot. And then also took it out the uh, the island slab and put it through its paces on steep drops so it worked in the smaller rippable lefts and also handled really sucky barreling right. So um, yeah, just all around good board, trustworthy. One of those boards where you just, it's your all rounder so you just buy one board and then you sort it. You don't have to bother about having a full quiver and you're doing your bit for the environment, so that's what you want. Recycled EPS foam, bio resin, and flax cloth. So it's really inspiring to see companies coming out with materials and just pushing the envelope to create a renewable board, which is obviously what we all want. 
surfing brings us joy and I think if we can give it back to the ocean and the world by keeping it green then it's a win-win-win and super light this board and really strong not a single dent on it from catching a bunch of waves on it so that just shows how the integrity of the materials which is really exciting I think we can boards like this that can keep their flex for a longer time then it's going to have that new fresh board feeling for a bit longer which is what we all want and yeah I think a 2 plus 1 is a great addition to your quiver relaxes not so much pressure on yourself to do your best to any life you can take it back a notch and have a bit more fun get that more speed and just a bit more free flowing experience on the wave which is what we all want It has a 2 plus 1 fin setup and channels in the bottom which makes it really fast and a really fun board. Um, it also has a modern fish tail which I find holds really well off the bottom and has a nice release of top turns. Um, I'd recommend using this board in 2 to 4 foot uh, beach breaks or long point breaks. The Smith went really well on Oki's Peak, especially going left on my forehand. Um, it has a fairly wide square tail, which had really good release on uh, during snaps. So there's always something left for you, my love. Whoa, oh, oh, yeah. So there's always something left for you, my love. Whoa, oh, oh. I found this board quite easy to manoeuvre, and I recommend using it in two to five foot punchy beach breaks. Yeah, so this is Geordie Smith's brand, him and his dad, little collaboration. So yeah, Geordie, having ridden pretty much every high performance board shaper known to man, I think he would have brought all those little bits of information back to his dad and they've put it all together and 
come up with this design. So it's obviously, you know, a hybrid, the best of the bits from all the, the greatest shapers around. So if you're looking for a board, there, if you can't pick one of the big shapers, this one obviously has components of all of them. And yeah, if you know Geordie surfing, it's high five, powerful and all round. So he obviously wants a board that can allow him to do everything. And I'd say this has all the elements to do that. So it's a damn good board. Uh, this is the McKill Fox. Uh, the tail's quite pulled in and narrow. Um, it allowed me to get really good release in the pocket. This board has a fair bit of rocker, um, which allowed it to just really cut right into the pocket and it was beautiful on rail too. Yeah, the McKill Fox would go great in reef breaks and definitely punchy beach breaks too. Good buddies, Ty Watson rides these boards, so I was pretty keen to have a go on his his shaper. And yeah, first first wave, I think it just felt like one of those boards where you can just trust it. Like I think I got one of my better waves of the trip. Really responsive and reacted perfectly. Uh, didn't do anything funky. It was just drive you off the bottom and zapped off the top. Came out with speed, so. If you're looking for a high performance shortboard, this is exactly that. And yeah, I'm not sure if it's six ounce glass, but the top feels really solid and I haven't got a single dent on it which is pretty impressive so sometimes people might think they need to get a lighter board because it'll help them you know throw it around a bit easier but I think when you can get a board that's just as strong it's going to help you in the long run you can serve it for a lot longer and yeah it didn't hold it back one bit so definitely ride this again just having a board where it you want it to feel like it's part of you, an extension of your body, and I think, yeah, as soon as it took off on this, that's exactly what it was. I didn't have to think about it. It just let the board do its thing, so and it reacted perfectly. I'd love to surf this in probably about some five foot points. I reckon it'd really show its beauty. So yeah, the McKill is a cracker.
best Practice three times a week, I said But then you'd get high, the glory was in your head I'm crying. 